Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to cover how to add sensors to T4D Web. Uh, we're going to go over how to add a single sensor and how to add multiple sensors. There are two ways to add sensors in T4D Web. Uh, the first is through the sensors page, which we can get to from the uh, home page, this icon here, or from the sensors uh, drop down menu. Uh, and the second way is going to be through the admin pages, which I'll uh, do in a second. So to start, let's just add a single sensor. We'll go to the sensors page and click on add sensor. That'll open a new tab with the uh, Add Sensor dialog. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is select a sensor type. In this case, I'm going to do target displacements because I have a uh, total station with prisms. And I'm going to select uh, terrestrial displacements. Next, I need to choose a specific target. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have two sites to choose from. These are going to be two different data receivers in the um, in T40 server. So I'll select roof, and then I'll select a target here. Do this target here. Uh, next, I'm going to select the actual data source. Um, it's terrestrial displacements, and so we're going to be choosing from an integrity monitor. In this case, it's going to be uh, this Roof Repro. You can see the data is synced with T40, and it's validated, meaning that the integrity monitor actually exists in T40 server. And data is available since uh, mid-March of this year. Uh, I have the option to import the history of the sensor, so import all the historical data, but I'll leave that unchecked for this, uh, this demo. Next, I can apply an axis rotation. This is really handy if you have say a uh, wall that you're monitoring and you will want to align the northern axis of the coordinate system with the azimuth of the wall you can input a rotation there um, we can either do a manual input so if you know the azimuth of the wall you can input that here or you can choose a bearing to a point or a bearing between two points um, for this example i'm going to leave it at no rotation and i can hit next and it'll tell us the location um, all of this information is automatically pulled from uh, T4D server. You can see I'm using a local coordinate system, and so these are just local coordinates, uh, northern, easting, and height, and feet. Um, if I hit next, I'll go to the summary page, and it'll tell me all the information for the sensor. I can hit save, and that will create the sensor. The other way to add sensors is through the project manager page, and that'll actually let us add multiple sensors at one time. Um, so if I go back to the admin pages and go to projects, you can see it'll show me all of my projects. Uh, more information on this project manager page can be found in our other video co covering um, how to create and edit projects, um, and you can find that on our YouTube channel. You can see I have a number of different sites set up. I have demo, roof, and roof GNSS. Um, this is our current project here. This icon indicates that there. And so what I can do to add multiple sensors is click on project manager and go to add multiple sensors. This will open the Add Multiple Sensors dialog. And the only kinds of sensors that I can add multiple at a single time are actually terrestrial displacements or targets. Um, so I'll select Target Displacements. It's going to automatically populate here. And then I can hit Next to go to the data source. And I'll do the same thing here. Go to Roof Repro, because that's the integrity monitor we want to use for this uh, project. And then it should give me a list of all of the targets. Um, I believe I already imported this, so I won't go ahead and do that again. Uh, but you can see here it has the target name. It's going to import automatically with the names here. And data is available since mid-March for everything, because that's when it was uh, set up. Um, I have the option to add a prefix or a suffix to the imported name, the target name. And I can also import the history for all the targets um, at one time. I'll leave that unchecked for now. And then same thing, I have the option to add an axis rotation to the targets, um, either with a manual input or a bearing between two points. Um, and if I hit Next, I can go to the summary page, and it tells me I'm adding eight sensors with no rotation angle. I'll hit save to add those to the page. And that concludes our video on adding sensors to T4D Web. If you need more information on T4D Web or T4D Control Server, please check out our YouTube channel and our other videos.